Bioethics is a, a way of studying the ethical uh, implications and moral implications of biomedicine, of uh, life sciences, um, and those sorts of areas, and, and healthcare in general, not just healthcare, biological research as well. But broadly speaking, it's looking at the, the ethical consequences of those disciplines and fields and areas. Um, and so bioethicists who tend to be a very diverse bunch of people, we come in from law or um, science in my case, or social science or philosophy and so on, um, very often get involved in those activities in which somebody's trying to put a policy around a new biotechnology or governance of some kind uh, around a new uh, healthcare intervention uh, and so on, or public health intervention uh, and so on. So it is intriguingly a, the sort of discipline in which you start at one end very often with some very basic science, sometimes even molecular science, and you can kind of join the dots all the way through to um, a policy um, and, and a public impact um, as well, which I think one of the things I find fascinating about it. In a discipline like bioethics or field of activity, let's say, like bioethics, um, in one sense, almost anything you you can do empirically can kind of improve that input because the uh, bioethics has an unfortunate history of, of being uh, very abstract until quite recently. Um, for people with disability in particular, I think that's crucial because so much of, of medicine and biomedicine healthcare is in one way or another about disability. It's trying to prevent disability or cure it or alleviate it or in some way make the lives of people with disability um, better, um, get more of a, a level playing field. Obviously, that spills over to social care too. Um, and because of that, the, um, the, the importance of these highly diverse areas of experience because of you know, the highly diverse nature of disability um, of itself um, um, is it's, it's crucial. Um, until recently, there have also been relatively few bioethicists with lived experience of disability yeah. too. I and mean, I count myself as one, but there are a handful of others uh, across the world. And so we've relied on um, empirical research or experiential accounts uh, of that experience to inform some of the theoretical thinking and then inform some of the policy too. Um, that sort of by way of saying it's important, you'll have seen that I've sidestepped your question more or less about how to do it um, because it's difficult. <laughs>